Hello everybody and welcome to this other video um, and just so you know I'm recording a bunch of videos in one day I'm not going through some like weird hell-bent depression where I have bedhead and don't change my clothes and shower or anything like that so um, we're just recording a bunch at once I heard that's a thing so real quick some things to tell you um, I have a free ebook for you over at my website, as you already know, um, at IHateMattWall.com. It's a book of short stories and poetry that I um, released from stuff last year. It's a free gift to you because you're wonderful. So go over there and pick it up and have something to read. Also, um, P.O. Box 3054, the new chapbook um, about the littlest post office in the middle of nowhere um, is available on my Etsy shop. Or if you go over to my Patreon, $10 and up tiers, get this for free with other goodies and um, all sorts of good stuff like that. But again, it's over on my website to my Etsy shop. And if you want to pick up other chapbooks, I have those there too and bundle packs. But um, these are limited edition stuff and they are going... The way of the buffalo so um also um visions of cody um buddy reed with um jason over at old blues chapter and verse will be coming in february um so be prepared um so this video right here um i was doing some reading and as you can see i have some of my books here i don't have all my books here yet i'm still getting everything here right now but um, one of the things that I did um, over December and January was I was going through somebody has irritable bowel syndrome and needs to find a bathroom quick, obviously. Um, I was going through these um, Bukowski manuscript books. <clears throat> okay. And I wanted to go through it and notate stuff. And um, I found some things that were kind of interesting to me. And these books, um, they're not, I don't want to say they're nonprofit, but I mean, this is a big fucking book, brand new. Um, you could get it at Lulu, I think, if they're still available there. They're like seven bucks or eight bucks. Um, so definitely pick these up um, if you are a fan of Bukowski. Um, but what I wanted to go over with you is something that I just found strange. So, for instance, when I put flags on top, okay, of a book, these are poems that I just really like the poems. When I put flags on the sides, those are four lines that I think are just great lines. And I noticed something. So this first volume is from 1955, 59 to 1974, okay? The second book, is from 75 to 77. And the third book is from 78 to 80. So as you can see, um, the books are all about the same length, <clears throat> but they kind of go over different stuff. And some of you might be going, why are you reading those if like he had books that came out in that period? Well, the majority of this stuff, and I don't, I'm sure this was the intent of it, um, a lot of the stuff that came out through Black Sparrow um, was edited, um, especially after uh, Bukowski died and all those the other 10 um, poetry books of his come out. We've talked about this before on the channel. Um, some of the stuff is heavily edited. So this is like the original... Um, poems, how he wrote them, and how he originally submitted them to magazines, how um, they were found among his belongings, because some of the stuff is uncollected anywhere and sure. never premiered, never, never appeared anywhere. 
So the thing I thought was strange was that um, in his earlier stuff, um, his poems themselves, I didn't think jumped out at me, as you can see. Like, there's just a few poems there that I'm like, oh, these are great. But there were quite a few lines that I really dug, okay? I'm like, oh, those are great lines. And then in the next book, one of the things you're going to notice is that the lines kind of dwindle, but the amount of poems that I thought were cool went up. And then in the third book, um, like there's barely any lines that I thought were good, but there are a ton of poems there that I thought were really good poems. Okay. So that should be something for you if you're wanting to get into Bukowski's poetry. If you are someone who gets off on a good poem, you might like his later stuff better than his early stuff. But if you're someone who gets off on a good line and like immortal line, like an immortal line, you're like, oh my God, that's perfect. You might like his earlier stuff better. So I just thought that was an interesting um, thing because I never put that together for myself. Like there was a lot of times where I thought some of his early stuff was um, not phony, but like, I almost felt like he was trying too hard to be um, accepted by the literary community. Um, and then by the time the 80s roll around, I think his poetry itself got really good. And there are still good lines in there, but the poems I think are greater than the individual lines in it. So if that helps you. So a thing I'm thinking about doing, and I swear to God, this is how easy this is going to be. If one of you leaves a comment and says, yeah, I'm in, that's a good idea. I want to do that. Then this is definitely going to happen. But I was thinking about going through um, all of the Black Sparrow poetry books, um, at least from... Uh, um, what, what is it? The days run away, like horses over the hills or whatever. His first poetry book with Black Sparrow to, um, uh, the last night of birth poems. Um, at least that bunch. And there's probably 10 or like eight or something like that in there. Um, and go over those, go over those books in order. And some of you might be saying, Actually, a Terror Street in Agony Way was released by Black Sparrow, but that was like a beginning thing, and it wasn't released by Black Sparrow in the way that they released his other stuff. So let's just cut to the shit right now, okay? Um, so if anyone out there thinks this is a fun trek to go on, um, that'll definitely be something that I would like to do because I'm probably going to be doing it anyway for me. So, um, and if I'm doing anything with books, I like to bring you guys along for the ride if you guys want to go on the ride with me. So, um, that will be a thing. So let me know down below if you're interested in doing that. Um, P.O. Box 3054, um, chat book about the, um, desert post office that was my only lifeline to the outside world while I was living in the desert. Um, is available now on my Etsy shop. Um, or you could go over to Patreon, and if you join the $10 or higher tiers, you get that and other goodies sent to you. And don't forget, there's a free book in my website if you want that with um, short stories and the posy. Okay? So until next time, I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.